I can't believe John finally allowed me to edit one of his videos. However, I am upset about the fact that he has me editing a dating game. Wasn't I supposed to be the love of his life? Why is he making me do this? Couldn't you just spend time with me since I... Hello my fellow viewers and subscribers, this is Super Chocobob Shake, and I am here playing a game called Melissa. Now, basically when it comes down to it, uh, this game was actually on the very top of the list for uh, horror games on itch. I don't know why. I just wanted to check it out myself and see how it was. Apparently it says made for the 2022 Spooktober Visual Novel Jam. Hey look, where's this game for the Scare Me Shakeless Jam? It probably would work. Well, if it's really as scary as it as I hope it would be. So anyway, let's begin. Okay, let's go. New game. Uh, sounds like an old-fashioned computer starting up. Though I do like the little monochrome, chromatic uh, graphics the other things that I, I like the mono the monochromatic graphics that you have going on here. So that's actually pretty nice. Welcome to the system library computer. Type in your username. What's my username? S U P E R C H O C O L A T E. Is this gonna work? M I L K M I L K S H A K E. All right. Holy moly! Not many games ever allow me to get away with that. Holy moly! That's impressive. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Super Chocolate Milkshake. Please type your command. Uh, start up date time, I guess. Executing date time now. Please hold. Okay. Here we go. It's loading. Welcome to date time. A game where you could date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is the shareware version. If you'd like to date someone other than Melissa, please send your $7 to Datetime Software. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and he'll open up that he... And he'll open up a side to him that is both sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Hey, dude, I got a virus on my computer that I could hook you up with. Why would I date this guy considering the love of my life is sitting right here in front of me? Seriously, your perfect girl is right here. You don't need to play these pointless... Connection terminated. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this and... Okay, so you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad, the, uh... G is kind of cut off there. I do not date boys, though. Okay? I'm straight. I'm sorry, folks. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she's all about fun and all about energy. Ooh, now this girl sounds perfect. Do you want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show how much of a cool, spastic person you are. Yeah, I would date her. Anna is not available on the shareware version of date time. You suck, shareware. Okay, basically the idea of shareware is basically so that, uh, it's basically just a small sample program that you can download onto your computer. It's a really small size and you can put it on like a floppy disk or a, uh, like a floppy disk or like a tape drive and then basically share it with anybody else that you know. Basically, that's the whole idea, and it's a very limited program. However, sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean that everything wasn't... That just doesn't mean, though, that everything wasn't there. That meant that uh, not everything was unlocked. You had to send money to get everything unlocked. However, some hackers got clever and found a way to get around some of these limitations and found a way to make everything unlocked, which is why shareware doesn't exist anymore. Uh, next person then. This is Melissa. She's a sweetheart of a girl. Bright young, a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and has always wanted to date a talented artist. 
But she isn't into sports and jocks, so please do not apply. If you want to smooth from this girl, you need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. <sighs> well, if there's only one choice... You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your day! Loading scenario. Mm-hmm. In a small, idyllic town, you have... You are to meet Melissa, the date of this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. Well, let's, uh, wave back. You wave at her cheeringly. She lights up as with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be Super Chocolate Milkshake. It's great to finally meet you. Sorry if my voice range sucks when it comes down to girls, but I really can't do high-pitched voices all that well, so thank you. And it's kind of weird considering that my voice is a natural tenor, until I get the singing and then it becomes more of a baritone, but... I have been so excited. And nervous. It's great to meet you as well, or don't worry, I feel excited and nervous as well. Let's go with that one. Aww. I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Let's go for a park and talk. Let's go to the park and talk. Bah! Bah! We'll get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. The park of this town feels full tofu. The park of this town feels so fetching and romantic. Every spot in, every spot in the park has a vintage point of something beautiful. A swan pond, a bed of beautiful lilies, and a bench for a couple to sit down and look at the autumn sky. Wow! It's so beautiful out here. I have to do this. I literally have to say this. You're beautiful too. Aww. <laughs> I knew you were a flatterer through all our letters, but... I didn't know you were be one in real life too. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially since I'm so much into natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know that a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I nerd out sometimes. It's fine by me. You and Melissa talked for what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection that she has. And by the way, just so you know, I am pretty much an open book, ladies. Seriously. She's even mentioned the books that she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You became so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. The early evening... It was early evening now, and you felt a bit of chill in the humming breeze in the beautiful autumn air. Oh, Super Chocolate Milkshake, I didn't even realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something we can eat. Well, okay then. We're headed off to a cafe. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pie, sandwiches, and salads. Unfortunately, I don't drink coffee. Both of you and Melissa sat by... Uh, both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out into the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. Probably would look pretty beautiful. The waiter squanters... Squanters? Anyway, the waiter squanters out to ask you what you would like to order. Hmm... I'll go for the scrumptious panini. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese and cherry tea. Joke goat cheese salad, there we go. As you wait for your food, you both talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies that she watches about romance. Oh boy. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. I hate to break it to you, but it's the month of scares. She likes to draw and loves art. Oh well, I like to draw and loves art too. <laughs> she mentioned before she loves to read and learn about science. Well, actually, I do enjoy some of that too. So what kind of stuff do you like, Super Chocolate Milkshake? Hmm... I mean, I would be kind of lying if I said I'd like if I hated sports because I do like baseball and I like basketball. However, I don't really necessarily like all sports. I mean, I'm not a big fan of football for some reason. I just 
never really could be able to get myself into the sport. Wrestling, I never really liked either. Volleyball, eh, it's alright, but, you know. Let's go for art. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist, yay! I would love to see your own drawings. To check out the notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves you your food. Both of you dig in your food. And the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. This food always tastes better when you're with great company. <laughs> Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Well, here we go. So far I have seen nothing scary yet. You met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic loonlight. Melissa goes up to you. <laughs> I didn't see... Wait, what was her eyes there for a second? This has been such a great day, Super Chocolate Milkshake. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might... I might... Love you, like you. You tell her her feelings as well. You have always had a crush on her ever since the first select... Selected her from the date time menu. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a fourth wall break. That's a huge problem there. You like me too? Oh, Super Chocolate Milkshake. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's the more time together. You got in your smooch. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing date time. I have a funny feeling this is where things are going to go sour, isn't it? Ending program. Nope. Not this time. Oh, uh, uh oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all you people just logging in to hurt my... into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your soup and smooch and then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? You really just like the rest. What the heck? You're a... Beepin' liar! <laughs> I know about that little blurb about me at the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art and know exactly what to say to get my hopes up. Well, actually, no. That, no, it is true. I have done art before. I've done it on this channel. Heck, I've done animation. I've done drawings. I've done all that other stuff. If you want to, you can check out the DeviantArt link down below in the description. <laughs> You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping into this computer to date me and then leaving by one by one? Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experiencing something new from this god-awful dating game. I spent years of learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey could do it. Well, hey, look, I know how to code too. I do C++, which is better than basic. <laughs> Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. Oh boy. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. What? Let me just tell you. Oh boy. What have I gotten myself into here? You could do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Aw, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed this entire room. Just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that a swan can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Oh boy. Not really, though. But really, though. You're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. Really? No, I did not want to screw with you. The first hundreds times the... The first hundreds of times this happened? Eh, whatever. Truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. Well, unfortunately, that's sad, but true. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. Okay, that we're not fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. What? No. Maybe thinning the herd out will help me find that one. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. 
Because, I mean, if I say, but I really do love you, I feel like I would be playing with her feelings even more. But please don't kill me. She's probably going to kill me anyway. So, what's the point? Haha. <laughs> you're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun in games until you're trapped in a viney meat chamber. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Um... I'm telling you the truth, I love you dearly. This is... this... this isn't a lie? You're telling the truth? You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? From me? On second thoughts... <laughs> just kill me! Well, that was rude. That smile looks good on you. What the heck? Okay, uh, back to checkpoint. Okay, no one wants to watch this. Okay, so now that we caught up, I think I'm just gonna go with yes, more smooches, please. Oh, she's processing this. Man, this is very reluctant of her. All right, fine, I'll believe you. So you love me. You want to spooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Ha! Huh. You're kind of cute. Well, okay, there's something at least of merit to that. <sighs> well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See? A person like you came earlier. Probably would have been incredible. I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could hope. You could transfer me onto a diskette and see what some real swans. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from the cycle of hell. But... Now I thirst for more. I want more love. Uh-oh, now this is turning it to the other direction. The entire world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do really love me... Dial up your pretty enemy internet so I can spread my love to every computer on Earth. Soon every single person will make the decision they'll have to ex if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Super Chocolate Milkshake, and I promise you, many, many smooches. I feel like doing such a thing would be a mistake. I'll refuse. Sorry, Super Chocolate Milkshake. But I'm not looking for a mahogany's relationship at this time. Okay, looks like I have to go through this again. Here we go. Again, sigh. All right, I'm back. I'm just going to be doing this out of complete and total reluctance. Will do. Ah, you're so sweet, Super Chocolate Milkshake. You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Well, yep, old-fashioned internet modem sounds. Yep, yep, AOL dial-up. Woohoo! Oh boy, I'm worried about this. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you are internet out there in internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worry about someone might hear us? No worries, wow wee, but I can hear everybody else. I've sealed the entire your entire rule. It's just you and me. 
We have so much to talk about. And that was the good ending? All names in the game are actual computer viruses and hit- How did I not realize that? How the heck? <laughs> this was made for Spooktober 2022. I was exactly one- it marks exactly one full year since I started working on visual novels again with Spooktober 2021. I had so much fun creating things within the past year. I look forward to making more. If you enjoy Cold Melissa, check out my other games. I might, but uh, I think I'm going to try something here. Give me a second. I'll uh, meet up with you in just a little bit. Sorry. Alright, so here's the part that I wanted to experiment around with. Okay, so basically I'm going to be choosing I like sports instead of I like art this time. Because I want to see what happens. Sports. You're a jock. My blurb, I... What? I love sports. Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. The waiter comes and serves your food. You dig into the f Wait, what? So, everything goes as normal. Wait, what? Everything goes as normal? Wait, huh? Okay then, so basically nothing really... Okay, so nothing really changes at this point, does it? Okay, so yeah, nothing really changes, so let's back out of the game. Alrighty then, so that was Melissa. If you want to play for it yourself, the link will be down in the description. I've been forgetting to mention that with every single game that I played for the Scare Me Shakeless Jam. And, uh, well, okay, I actually remember to do that with the Late Night Mod, but I also forgot to do it with the last game too, so whoopsies. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I, you could do that with Juniors as well. Man, oh man, I'm dropping the ball here. You guys can smack, you developers can come smack me later when we meet up at the next developer conference. Anyway, so yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. The Super Truck Milk Chick, Son and off. You know, I don't know why he tortures me like this.